Hi friends, and thanks so much for being here. I'm Anna Hellman, and today I wanna to share with you a lot of different ways to use one product. Now, when you purchase things to add to your collection, I, I know I hear from a lot of you, you like products that you can use in a lot of different ways. So if it's a stamp set, you can only use kind of for one thing. You may like it, but if you can't use it for a lot of things or a lot of seasons, then maybe you don't wanna add it to your collection. I was looking at this cherry stamp and punch set here not too long ago. And I started thinking like, oh, you could use that punch for this other use and oh, this other use. And I thought it would be fun to make a video to share a lot of different ways to use this bundle. Then when I sat down to create with it, the ideas would not stop coming out of my head for ways to use this punch and, and stamp set. So watch along. I think you'll see some really fun ideas for ways to use this. Maybe you'll get some new ideas for ways to use punches and stamps in your collection. So here's the bundle we are talking about. We're gonna look at lots and lots of ways to use this. Now at first glance, you think like, oh, it's cherries. That's cute. I like it, it's cute. Uh, I don't know how many ways I could use it though. So eh, I probably won't, I probably don't need that. Uh, but that's, that's what's so fun when you see ideas online, when you follow different people and see the different ways to use things. A lot of times that's when we're like, oh yes, that would be a really nice addition to my collection. So let's start looking at some ways to use this. And first I'm just gonna show you a simple card I made a while back with this set. Wishing you a sweet day. I stamped the cherry with the, so you have the cherry stamp, you can stamp the stem separate and the leaves as well. I uh, use that texture stamp in the background and it's a simple card that comes together pretty quickly. So you can use it for cherries, of course, because you know that's what this set is called. Uh, but let's look at some more ways. Now this next card I did not make myself. I have to get, give credit to Wendy Knowles. I received this in a card swap at a Stampin' Up! event. Uh, but this is similar to the cherries, but now we have apples. So I love that she had created these in several different colors. There were red ones and these in kind of like an orangish color. Uh, but they, they were really cute. This green one really stood out to me with the green apples on it. So this is a fun way to use it. We can branch out and use it for different types of fruit. I'm thinking plums would be easy uh, if you stamped it in purple. I, I think you could use this for some other fruits as well. And you, my friends, are very creative. Like I came up with a lot of ways to use this, but I would love in the comments if you can think of other ideas for ways to use this, fruits or anything else, uh, drop those in the comments down below and maybe we can share some more ideas with everyone watching along. Okay, so we covered some fruit. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna start with ways to use the cherry piece. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a lot of ways to use the punch, but keep in mind you can do all these same things with the stamps if you're stamping directly onto some cardstock. So let's look at some ways to use this piece of the punch right here because that's one of the nice things about these builder punches is I, I, I was able to use the cherry piece for some projects and I was able to use the leaves to create some other things and we have lots of fun things here. So this one, this is pretty basic, uh, but what's it look like? It looks like a heart. So this could double as a heart punch for you and use these on projects. You could punch several of these, create a border, a background, uh, pop this up, put a little greeting on it. Lots of different ways to use this. And I'll mention this. So some of these I stamped on and then I punched them. Some of them I just punched them to show you what it would look like to keep it simple. So we have a heart. That's, that's pretty basic, I know. Uh, let's see, the next thing that came to mind I think was oh, hey, you could put a few of those together and make a cloud. Uh, so I thought that was kind of fun. These would be really cute backgrounds for scrapbook pages or a few smaller ones at the top on card projects. So we have the cloud idea. Next, what came to me next? Probably the flower. So I thought this turned out really cute. I did stamp these as you can see, but you could create the same idea without stamping. So just use four of those cherry pieces and I die cut the circle out. Uh, that was from a separate set, of course, and then use the little leaves from this punch to add the leaves behind it. Thought that one turned out really cute. 
Let's see next. I think I had the idea for the butterfly. So here's the little butterfly. I did stamp the stamp the wings. And then the body turns out a little bit curved if you use the stem piece from the punch. But I chose to go ahead and do that just to show that you can use the body from or the, the stem, the stem or the body. What do we want to call it here? The stem for the body. So that's cute. Then as I was creating my flowers, I thought, well, okay, this is a four leaf clover. So I had to create one of the, those that turned out cute. And at some point while I was creating some of these, I thought, oh, I would create a really cute pinwheel. And I thought I debated whether I should put something in the center of this or not to look like a pinwheel. Then as I was creating that, I'm like, oh, they'd look like really cute lollipops. You could create them like this, or you can just create one with one on top of a little stick. Maybe a cute page for a kid's birthday or something like that. And last but not least, this is my last idea that I was able to create. Uh, like I said, the ideas kept flowing. Uh, this is the one, last one I actually created for that cherry piece. And it's to create a little bug's face. Uh, I started looking at ways to create like caterpillars. Okay, so if you layer several of these pieces on top of each other, you can have a whole caterpillar here. Uh, yeah, lots of ideas. I want to know what else you come up with because if I can come up with this many ideas, I bet you can come up with a whole lot more than me. Okay, now let's look at ways to use the leaves, either the stamps or the punches, because like I said, you could just stamp these on some cardstock. And where should we start? Where should we start? There's several here. Okay. Let's do these. Okay, so I realized, oh, hey, you could create bats for Halloween. So that's kind of fun. So for these, I just used, for this one, I used just two of the leaf punches. And then for the body, I used that stem piece, flipped it upside down, and just trimmed it to a point and added that on top. For this one, this is five of the leaf punches and that center one. All I did was trim a little V out of the top to make it look like its little ears or its little head. So, okay, so we have some bats. Then I started thinking about all kinds of flying creatures. Uh, I think this was actually my first flying creature idea. Oh, no, 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 it was this one. Okay, so my first idea was butterflies. Like, oh, that makes really cute butterfly wings and its body. So you can do this with the leaves as well as the cherry piece like I showed you a minute ago. Then I thought, oh, dragonflies. Those would be cute if we just use two of the leaves as the wings. Thought those were fun. I, somewhere in there, the bat idea came out. And flowers, I'm thinking about flowers and then I'm thinking about well, lots of different ways to create flowers and show you this one first. So this one, I just use six of those leaves. I'm having a hard time not calling them petals. Leaves and put them there in the circle. Use some of the others for the actual leaves. Put a little gem there in the center. And does this remind you of anything? And maybe you're actually, maybe you're already thinking this, but I created this in Melon Mambo, like a hot pink color, but, uh, it look, doesn't it look just like a poinsettia? So create these in red and they would be beautiful for Christmas cards. Then I think as I was creating that, I thought, oh, hey, it would look like a star. So here's one I created in yellow, but I think these would be really fun in red, white, and blue for projects. Sometimes it's hard to come up with things for like patriotic things, uh, but those would be perfect to create stars. And this one, this, these are some of my favorites. So I used a few of those leaves and layered them. I did stamp them as you can see to create tulips. So I'll point out, so the pointy end of the leaf, I have pointed up on the left piece and the right piece. And then the center piece in the back, I flipped it upside down so that I had the wider less pointy part of the leaf at the top for those. 
used that stem piece for the leaves uh, for these leaves or for the stem the stem for the stem I use the stem piece for the stem and then for the leaves I actually just trimmed leaves in half to make them narrower to look a little bit more like tulip leaves so these are my ideas for this really fun cherry bundle uh, maybe this is something you'd like in your collection maybe this will help inspire you to look at your punches and your stamps in a whole new way so if you're interested in this there's a link in the video description below where you can take a look at it and order if you're interested if you're new here i'd love for you to subscribe to my channel let me know if you like videos like this i haven't done many like this for a while uh, but if you like this i can do more of them uh, I, thanks for being here i hope you have a blessed day and i hope you'll be back again next time when i'll be here helping you to hand make with love